Hello lovely people, welcome back to My Language Paradise with me, Emily, in case you do not know me yet. And I want to tell you about the best resource there is out there, at least for beginners, to learn Levantine Arabic. I really wish that I had discovered this app, well, app slash website, a lot earlier in the process of learning a dialect. Mingo Languages has a very well thought out, prepared lesson plan for their first five chapters. I say first five chapters as if they're going to make like another five in the future, but it's actually not that way, unfortunately. However, they do have five chapters of hundreds of lessons that you can go through. I assumed that I would be done with it in a month because I did not know how much material was initially going to be introduced to me. And honestly, I knew about this website for years now. I just didn't think that it was going to really give me any value because I assumed it was going to be exactly like Rosetta Stones. I had heard really good reviews from other learners of Levantine Arabic that were using or the same lesson plans at the time. I'm going to walk you through how it is and also kind of go into how it compares to transparent languages. But transparent languages will be at the end of this video if you want to stay tuned for that. So Mango Languages has a very straightforward login process. In fact, I think that I'm already logged in. However, you will see up here, organizations can definitely join this site for free. And I actually got a free membership to this because I was part of a university that paid for the service to be free for their students. So definitely look into that. There is also a way to join for free if the library near you has some kind of agreement um, to pay so that their library goers can have access to this website for free as well. Otherwise, I believe $7.99 per month for one single language or all languages for $17. So if we go up here and log in, you will see that I have only gotten up to a chapter three or so. As I said, there are only five chapters, it's so sad. However, you will see that there are a substantial amount of lessons, um, each with well over a hundred, and even then you have different units to go through. So it's actually a lot more than what you initially see. This website really reminds me of how Pimsleur works. It's just that you get to see the text instead of just listen to it, which I find a plus. They are really good about giving you a conversation, just a basic conversation with native pronunciation at the beginning of each chapter. And then at the end of each chapter, after you've completed 10 to 24 units, you will get that same dialogue again. And the goal is for you, of course, to be understand everything that that dialogue that was given at the beginning has said. I also really love the option that we have here to do listening and reading. So it'll tell you how many new words you're learning, how many unique words there are, and how many total words are used. You can also control when the other person speaks, right? So if we go to speaker one, he's gonna say his text, and then it'll go to speaker two, and then if you haven't understood what speaker one or speaker two has said, you can also just see the text right here. You do have different questions to make sure you comprehended everything. They do always have an inference question, so obviously the information won't be given exactly um, as direct. I also really love that it shows up green every time you complete a chapter. You can also take a unit one test. I've actually not done this. If we just go to chapter four, if we go to just nine, for example, most of these are going to have like maybe 23 up to even 51 slides I've seen before. And you always get a like a congratulations badge at the very end, which I really like. Uh, makes me feel accomplished. You will also have cultural notes included in all of these slides. Besides culture notes, you're also gonna have little grammar notes in between that. So um, it does teach you a little bit of grammar, but not to the point where you are feeling like that's all they're talking about. In case you're not one to really like grammar, you do also have a quiz at the end of chapter four, which honestly, I started to make flashcards for each of these chapters, and I've done well over four vocabulary sets of 200 words each, but I have found that just doing the quiz even helps me with whatever I need to review. Instead of just going through flashcards, they do give you more of a context with that recap and the quiz. And you will see I've already completed my review for today, 
but they do have a daily review uh, to see what you have retained every single day if you do aim to do this every single day. You know, I wish that they had some sort of streak process like they do on Duolingo. If we go down here, tons of chapters. Really well organized. I really like the layout with the test at the end. And I think the longest one would probably be this one. So as you see, as I've mentioned before, you can have anywhere between nine to 24 units. So really excited to, to get to chapter two of uh, unit five. We'll see about that. If you also go to the search bar, you can see that all of these languages are available. And I haven't tried Russian yet, but I especially just really like this for Arabic because usually you would only get maybe the first chapter. Some of these only actually have first chapters, I'm pretty sure. Or I did try to look at Hebrew because that was a language that I was thinking about learning and they unfortunately only have one unit. So with 10 chapters given, however, I think that I'm more grateful that they have so much for <laughs> Levantine Arabic specifically. I think the only things that I really don't like are the fact that everything stops after five chapters and I also don't like that the reading and listening portions that you get after every chapter are just taken away and they just disappear after chapter two. <laughs> after I started chapter three I was really disappointed so keep that in mind. However, you really get a, a good overview of really whatever I'm pretty sure you would need to talk about if you were visiting an uh, Arabic-speaking country, for example. In general thoughts to you about my progress in Arabic, because I feel like changing the, of course, the dynamic of what resources I was using, this definitely helped me get my motivation back. Um, obviously, I'm not super 100% motivated every day to do it. However, it's just really easy to just do something in an app, uh, have it all be on the computer, you don't have to write anything down, and your really good review on there, so I've usually just turned to that instead of uh, regularly speaking, which honestly, this has helped me fill in gaps of my speaking. There are a lot of vocabulary that I was missing just because I didn't know how to pronounce it and therefore I didn't want to learn it wrongly by still writing it down in my flashcards and then writing also the wrong pronunciation down instead of asking the native speaker. So I really love what this has done for my vocabulary and my pronunciation. And uh, yeah, I was thinking about doing this review even after chapter five, but that was gonna take a few months and I really wanted to let those of you know who are looking to expand your resources. Just a small note on transparent languages that I had talked about. I honestly don't have a lot to say about that. The website is a lot less involved, so I could get pretty much everything I needed within that 14 day trial period. I believe Mango Languages also gives you maybe a seven day trial period if you do have to pay for it out of pocket. It. Transparent language gives you a 14 day trial period and I was not about to pay for that just because it has significantly less material to study. There are a few phrases and vocabulary that I wanted to write down but all in all I really did not think that it was worth the subscription service. There are only maybe 10 chapters to go through for that website and even though they do have good pronunciation you probably only learn about half of what you would learn in one unit from Mango Languages. I haven't tried Transparent Language out for any other language. Um, I know their blog is really good, so I do recommend looking through that because they do have a lot of knowledge. But the courses in general for learning languages are, in my opinion, not so great. Anyways, thank you if you are still here for sticking to the end of this review. Let me know your thoughts about what I've just reviewed. Hopefully it has been helpful for you and we will see each other next time. Take care!